I just bought another comic collection. So the other day, I saw someone online list about 900 comics for sale for only $250. And so I took a look at the list and saw about 30 that I really wanted either for my own personal collection or to sell on eBay. And really, even getting just those 30 for $250 would have been a pretty good deal. So of course, I was very interested in buying all of them for only $250. And so I thought to myself, well, you know, I can buy this whole collection, pull out the 30 that I really want, and then either bulk out the rest to my LCS or try to sell them in lots on eBay. But of course, I realized the shipping costs were going to be pretty high to send me 900 comics. And so I got to thinking and I thought, you know, well, it'll probably still be worth it to buy this whole collection. But first, I'll reach out to the guy and ask if he would be willing to sell just a part of the collection because I thought the shipping might be a little bit too cost prohibitive. And so he told me that he would be open to selling me just part of the collection because these comics had been his brothers and he really didn't have any use for them. And he's basically just trying to unload them any way that he could. And so he asked me what was my offer. And I think I pretty much could have named my price, but... I didn't want to really take advantage of the situation. And so I said, hey, well, you know, you're asking $250 for the whole thing. What if I gave you $100 and picked out the 50 comics that I wanted the most and you could send them to me in a priority medium rate box? And he said that sounded fair to him. And so I gave him a list of my top 50 and I'm going to show you the top 20 or so out of those 50 that I'm especially excited about. So first of all, we have a book that's pretty much worth $100 all by itself, and that's this one, Darth Vader number three, which contains the first appearance of Dr. Aphra, Triple Zero, and BT-1. Now, I actually already have a copy of this, so I'm going to put this side by side with the one that I already have and try to judge which one I think is in the worst condition, and they're both pretty high grade, probably 9.6 or 9.8s but I'll sell off whichever one that I like the least, and that's pretty much gonna pay for everything. So anything beyond this is pretty much just a bonus. So sticking with the Star Wars theme, first of all, we have Darth Vader number one, which of course is Darth Vader's first solo series. So I'm a huge Darth Vader fan, and so love it for that reason. But it also contains the first appearance of Black Kersantan, which is another awesome character who was on the Boba Fett show. And so I am really happy to have this book. Uh, Kanan, The Last Padawan, which contains the first appearance of Sabin Wren. I think that's how you pronounce it. Of course, when it comes to Star Wars, I'm not sure on all these names. Uh, the, and the first appearance, cameo appearances of Ezra Bridge. And both of those are characters that are supposed to be in the upcoming Ahsoka uh, Disney Plus show. And I also got a variant edition of Kanan, The Last Padawan, number one. And so I'll be looking to sell this one while holding on to the regular cover. I got Star Wars number four and number six, which contains the first cameo and full appearance of Santa Staros. And moving on from Star Wars, we have the New 52 Batman number one. And of course, you know, the original Batman number one is way out of my price range for now. It's one of my all time grails that I'll probably never get. Uh, but this is a nice runner up and it contains the first appearance of Lincoln March and the first cameo appearance of Harper Rowe, who goes on to become Bluebird. Number two, which contains the first appearance of Talon. Uh, and number six, which contains the first full appearance of the Court of Owls. And this is actually the second printing, and I think it's pretty rare. And so it goes for about the same amount as the first printing. Uh, and then their first cameo also in issue number three. Uh, issue number seven, which is the first full Harper row. Issue number 12, the first Cullen row. Uh, issue number 21, which is the first Duke Thomas, who goes on to become the Signal. Uh, number 28, which is the first appearance of Harper Row becoming Bluebird. And number 43, which is the first appearance of Mr. Bloom, who is one of my favorite kind of recent additions to the Batman Rogues Gallery. And speaking of addition to his Rogues Gallery, going on to Detective Comics, we have the New 52, number one. And number two, which is the first cameo and full appearance of the Dollmaker. All right, moving on from Batman, we have Superman Convergence number two, which is the first appearance of Jonathan Kent. 
and Action Comics number nine, which is the first appearance of Calvin Ellis, aka the Black Superman. And this book was super hot about a year ago when there were rumors that Michael B. Jordan was going to be the new Superman in some kind of DC movie project. And you know, I don't know if that's going to happen now with James Gunn, yeah, you know, at the helm. Uh, but uh, I, w- I wish I'd gotten this a year ago and been able to sell it for quite a bit. That actually might have been the the most valuable of all of these books at one time. Uh, we also got Green Lantern number 20, which is the first cameo of Jessica Cruz, who, of course, later goes on to become one of the Green Lanterns. And we have 30, which is her second cameo, and 31, her first full appearance. And this is where she becomes Power Ring before going on to becoming Green Lantern. And she's a really fun Green Lantern. If you haven't read her story, you know, she has to really, obviously like all the Green Lanterns, work to overcome her fear, but in uh, some really unique ways. And number 21, which is the first appearance of the modern Marvel family. And also number 40, which is the first appearance of Darkseid's daughter, Grail. And moving on from DC, the final books I'm going to show you is just a small run of Spawn. But the reason that these books are so valuable is because they come from a very low print run. And so I'm planning to sell all these on eBay. Uh, It's issue number 250, 251, 252. And you can tell these all came out about the same time because it's kind of a spoof on the DC New 52. uh, Because it's the New 252, uh, number 253 number 254, and number 255. So of course that's probably, I didn't count them up, but about half the books that I got for only $100. And so I am super excited about, again, half of those are gonna be for my own personal collection. And the other half I'll look to sell to not only make my money back, but make a little bit more that then I can invest into more comics and hopefully more collections. So obviously I'm super grateful and happy about coming across that listing and hopefully it inspires you just to keep hunting because you never know what you're gonna come across in the wild. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, of course I'd appreciate if you'd go ahead and do so. Like this video, comment, tell me what is one of your favorite finds in the wild. And thanks for watching and I look forward as always to the next one.